Hey guys, how's it going? Have you heard the one about everyone fleeing Illinois? Well, it's true. They call this a negative net migration when there are more people leaving than there are moving into a state. Illinois comes in second place for this statistic. Only West Virginia has more people jumping ship. Illinois went from being the fifth most populous state in the country to sixth, behind Pennsylvania. So where are they all going? In this video, we'll explore the 10 states where Illinoisans are moving using the data from tax returns for the years 2011 to 2018. Number 10, Missouri. The Show Me State enticed 19,932 Illinoisans to make the move. How did they do that? There are many people who would tell you that it's cheaper to live in Missouri because they have lower taxes. It is true that the average income for the people moving there was the lowest out of the top 10 states at $51,854.30. But is Missouri really cheaper? Let's take a look. The state income tax is 5.4% versus the Illinois flat tax of 4.95%, so Illinois wins in that category, but the Missouri state sales tax is 4.225% compared to Illinois' 6.95%. If you want to own a home, property taxes in Illinois average 2.31%, while in Missouri, it's only 0.99%, so you can save quite a bit by purchasing your home there. On top of the property tax being lower, the house itself will probably be more affordable, Missouri is on several lists as being one of the 10 cheapest states to purchase a home. The median home price for the state is $141,200. If you choose to rent, you can expect to pay $759. If someone is moving from Chicago to St. Louis, they would save a bundle on housing expenses alone. There's also a lower gas tax. Illinois has one of the highest gas taxes in the country, so it's a huge difference when you cross the state line and see a gas station. I recently visited a border town and gas was $2.33 on the Illinois side and $1.98 on the Missouri side. That really adds up over time, so it seems that yes, Missouri is cheaper to live in than Illinois. Number 9, Georgia. 22,372 people left the land of Lincoln to go to the land of peaches. According to United Van Lines National Movers Study, most people move to or from Georgia for jobs. Georgia is home to several tech companies, and over a dozen Fortune 500 companies are based in the state. The unemployment rate before the world came to a standstill was only 3.1%, so there are job opportunities. I imagine some of the people moving were going from Chicago to Atlanta, and I can understand why. Atlanta has a population of 450,000 compared to Chicago's 2.7 million, but even with a much smaller population, they have the same sort of amenities. Sports teams, an international airport, a thriving music scene, television and movie production companies, not to mention that it's a lot closer to the ocean and the weather is better. Illinois is really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer. Georgia gets steamy during the summer, but the rest of the year is usually temperate, so this is a destination for people looking to leave the miserable winters behind. Number 8, Tennessee. Did you know that Tennessee doesn't have an income tax? I'm sure that was music to the ears of the 24,485 people who left Illinois for Tennessee. Not only will they be getting more on their paychecks, they'll also have a lower cost of living, which is 9% lower than Illinois' cost of living. The average home price for the state of Tennessee is $146,000. That's almost $30,000 less than Illinois' average. If you have dreams of becoming the next Faith Hill or Tim McGraw and want to live in Nashville, the median home price is still lower than the national average by $10,000. Tennessee also has a very cool program called the Tennessee Promise, which provides free community college to all adults in the state. You won't find that in Illinois, where the politicians have a problem balancing a budget. Tennessee also has plenty of jobs in tech and healthcare, so people move there to further their careers. One additional bonus, the mountains of Tennessee are much nicer to look at than the cornfields of Illinois. Trust me on that. Number 7, Colorado. For people moving to the Rocky Mountain State, the draw is for the beauty of the state, the healthier lifestyle, and of course taxes. That's why 25,939 people have made the move. According to WalletHub, Illinois is the least tax-friendly state in the nation. Colorado ranked ninth lowest in taxes on their list, which was based on the effective total state and local taxes on a median household income. The income tax in Colorado is only slightly lower than Illinois at 4.63%, 
but their sales tax is significantly lower at only 2.9%. So when you compare the overall taxes, the average household would pay 8.65% of their income in taxes in the state of Colorado, but they would pay 14.9% in the state of Illinois. One thing that should be considered when it comes to taxation in Colorado is that if you're of a certain age, it is one of 13 states that tax social security income, so it might not be the best place to choose for your retirement, but if you're still working, it's a decent choice, especially if you love the outdoors. Number six, Arizona. 36,737 people made the move from Midwest living to the Southwest and planted roots in Arizona. The cost of living is comparable to Illinois, but the average income is lower. The median household income in the state of Illinois is $59,196. In Arizona, it's only $51,340. However, they do have lower taxes, so it balances things out. My theory as to why so many people make the move is that it has to be for the warm weather. After so many dreary winters in Illinois, it gets to you. Arizona averages 320 sunny days each year. However, the summer temperature can reach up to 120 degrees, so it's not for everyone. I know that it wouldn't be fun for me. I'm a redhead, and I don't think they make an SPF high enough for that kind of sun exposure. Speaking of sunlight, Arizona doesn't observe daylight saving time, so that could be considered a plus to some people. Another fun fact about Arizona, Phoenix is apparently called the Chicago of the West because so many people from Illinois end up there. You can even find several Chicago restaurants in the Phoenix area, including Portillo's and Gino's Pizza. Number five, Wisconsin. The cost of living in Wisconsin is slightly lower than in Illinois. The average median home price is about $7,000 lower in Wisconsin at $167,000, and rent is cheaper than the national average at $789. According to a Wisconsin group called Badger Institute, the main reason 41,176 Illinoisans have moved there is the economy. The poverty rate and unemployment rates are both lower also. Prior to the pandemic, Wisconsin's poverty rate was 12.7% compared to Illinois' 14%. Their unemployment rate was 3.7%, which is lower than both the Illinois and national averages. Badger Institute also cites the right to work laws, lower tax burden, and state credit rating as reasons why people choose to leave Illinois for the Badger State. Number four, California. This one seems counterintuitive because California is also experiencing a negative net migration. Most Illinoisans complain about high taxes, but California has that too. They also have exorbitant housing costs, a high overall cost of living, pollution, traffic, and wildfires. So why have 42,820 people moved from Illinois to California? According to the American Community Survey, the majority of people moving into California are there for work. They found that those people tend to have graduate degrees, so they can find well-paying jobs to counterbalance the higher costs associated with living in California. The average income of those moving from Illinois to California is $87,077. In addition to jobs, people making the move will have better weather, and for some, that really matters. The Golden State has every sort of activity imaginable to keep people entertained, so it appeals to a wide variety of people. I, myself, would probably choose California, except for the fact that I don't really like the idea of having to live in a tent. Number three, Indiana. You know that expression, the grass is greener on the other side? 55,090 people took that literally and moved from Illinois to Indiana. This one makes a lot of sense. The lifestyle and terrain are very similar in the two states. If you like cornfields and rural towns, you can find that in both places. But in Indiana, you'll find a lower cost of living and lower taxes. The income tax in Indiana is 3.23%, so that's more money going into your pocket each payday. The median property tax in Indiana is almost $2,500 below the Illinois average and the average home price there is $126,500, which is almost $50,000 less than the Illinois median home price, so owning a home is considerably less expensive in Indiana. If you like Midwest living but hate Illinois taxes, Indiana could be the state for you. Number two, Texas. Illinois lost 69,832 people to Texas, which isn't much of a surprise. Texas has a lower cost of living, better weather, and a thriving job market. It also has a wide variety of terrain to choose from. Whether you want to live in the mountains, on a prairie, in a desert, or by the ocean, you can in Texas. 
They have just about everything you can imagine. They also have a distinct culture and food scene known as Tex-Mex. You know what they don't have? Income tax. So if you make the move and you earn the same amount, it would feel like getting an almost 5% raise in Texas because they don't take their cut out of your check. Another thing that Illinoisans might consider a plus in Texas is the political climate. Illinois is known for its political machine, career politicians, and corruption. In Texas, the legislators don't make enough money as politicians to quit their regular jobs, and they're more accessible to their constituents. Texas is a diverse state that is appealing to many different groups, so it's easy to see why people from Illinois want to live there. Number 1. Florida Most of the people leaving Illinois are heading to Florida. 75,386 people moved to the Sunshine State. Can you really blame them? Florida has a lower cost of living, lower unemployment rate, and a better economy. The median home price in the state of Florida is $166,800, so that's lower than the Illinois and national averages. Florida, like Texas, also doesn't have an income tax, so you keep more of your money. The thing that's really great about Florida, though, is the proximity to the ocean. No matter where you are in the state, you can be at the beach within a reasonable amount of time. This isn't so great when hurricanes roll through, but Illinois has tornadoes, so I wouldn't let the occasional bad weather deter me. If you work in healthcare, this could be a really good state for you, because Florida attracts an aging population and someone has to take care of their healthcare needs. Why not live near a beach at the same time? If you currently live in Illinois, but you're planning on moving soon to a state that wasn't on the list, leave a comment. I'm curious about where other people are headed, because I'm considering making the move myself. I'm currently thinking Vermont or New Hampshire, maybe Maine. I prefer mild summers over the humid Illinois heat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing here, consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon to get notified when we put out more videos. Until next time, I remain stuck in the Kernfield. field.